Chapter 2 Introduction to Windows 10 Warm up Identify the following applications from their icons and write their names. When we start the computer, the first software that gets loaded is known as operating system. It manages and controls the different parts of a computer system. It is a type of system software that manages and controls the working of a computer system. Keep in mind, the first operating system used in personal computers was DOS, Disk Operating System which is still in use. Functions of operating system Operating system commonly known as OS manages all the resources that are attached to it. All the input and output devices that are attached to the system are known as resources of the computer system. Operating system also controls the storage operations Example, how data or files are stored into the computer system. Introducing Windows Microsoft Windows is one of the most popular operating systems. Windows comes in various versions, the most recent ones being Windows 10. There have been many different versions of Windows over the years including Windows 8, released 2012, Windows 7, 2009, Windows Vista 2006 and Windows XP 2001, while older versions of Windows mainly run on desktop and laptop computers. Windows 10 is also designed to run equally well on tablets. Windows 10 Desktop When you switch on the computer, the Windows operating system gets loaded into the computer memory automatically. It then checks that all parts are working. This is called booting up. After booting, the screen that appears on the monitor is called Desktop. The desktop has the following items. Icons. The small labeled pictures or symbols present on the desktop are called icons. These icons are used to open specific programs or documents. Task bar is a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. It has the start button on the extreme left side. The middle section of the bar shows buttons with a label for each opened application and allows us to quickly switch between them. We can activate the application window by clicking on its task bar button. We can also add or remove items from the task bar. When an application is active, its button is highlighted in a lighter shade. The right side of the task bar is known as navigation area which includes a clock and a group of icons that provides status and notifications about updates network connectivity incoming mails battery volume etc the show desktop button is present on the extreme right of the task bar click on this button to minimize all the open windows and view the desktop Start menu. One of the most important features in Windows 10 is the Start menu. We use the Start menu to open apps, access commonly used folders, and a whole lot more. File Explorer. We use the File Explorer.
to manage our files and folders. To open File Explorer, click the File Explorer icon on the taskbar or double click any folder on the desktop. Search box To search for something on the computer like a specific file or application, click the Start button and then start typing. Alternatively, we can press the Windows key on the keyboard to begin a search. Customizing the Start menu We can customize the Start menu to suit our needs. To rearrange tiles, if we don't like the way our tiles are arranged on the Start menu, we can rearrange them. To move a tile, simply click and drag it to the desired location. In this example, we are moving the Microsoft Edge tile. To make a tile bigger or smaller, right click the size, select resize, then choose the desired size. Pinning and unpinning tiles. If you want to add a tile to the start menu, we can pin it. We can also unpin tiles that we don't use very often. Click the start button, then open the all apps menu. Find and right click the desired app, then select pin to start. In this example, we are pinning the calendar app. The app will be pinned to the start menu. We can remove any tile by right clicking on it, then selecting unpin from start. Take a break. Match the following with their images. Selecting, deselecting an icon. To select an icon, follow the given steps. Step 1. Place a mouse pointer on the icon. Step 2. Press the left mouse button to select the icon. As the icon is selected, its color changes. To deselect an icon, follow the given steps. Step 1. Move the mouse pointer away from the selected icon. Step 2. Click the left mouse button once. The color of the icon changes to its original color. Arranging icons You can arrange icons on the desktop in many ways. To arrange the icons, follow the given steps. Step 1. Right click at any black area on the desktop. A menu appears. Step 2. Click on the view option. A sub menu appears. Step 3. Choose one of the options given to arrange the icons in that order. Hiding icons You can hide the icons on the desktop. To hide the icons, follow the given steps. Step 1. Right click at any blank area on the desktop. A menu appears. Step 2. Click on view option. A sub menu appears. Step 3. Click show desktop icons to uncheck it.
Just after you uncheck it, you will see the desktop without icons. Quick launch bar. The quick launch bar contains shortcuts to a few tiles of software. You can launch software quickly by single clicking its button. System tray. System tray is basically used to display the clock and the icons of certain programs so that a user is continually reminded that they are there and can easily click them. Shutting down a computer. When we are done using our computer, it's important to shut it down properly. To do this, click the start button, then choose power shut down. When we start the computer, the first software that gets loaded is known as operating system. Microsoft Windows is one of the most popular operating system. After booting, the screen that appears on the monitor is called desktop. The quick launch bar contains shortcuts to a few tiles of software. 